What's up, YouTube? My name is Genius, bringing you guys part 23 from my playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new, you're subscribed to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Genius25 as I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for you guys to so turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. Before we even start off this episode, look right here. This is your guys' first glimpse at the Fire Dragon. His name's Dinroll, and he, like, flies through this little cavern right here. Look at him, he's sick. He has, like, two little ear, like, buds or something, like, antlers. They look sick. But he is, like, my favorite dragon out of the three. But, guys, in this episode, we're actually going to be starting the big quest that I've been talking about. But before we even start that, we're actually at this shrine right here, which is actually located right over here. So here's the Woodland Tower. It is all the way across here. I figured we'd get this and then head inside it because we need one more spirit orb. Then we're going to be doing the Lost Woods, doing that big quest like we've been talking about. So let's head into this shrine. Making our way into the shrine, we got Drawing Parabolas. So we're going to hop in here and figure this out and everything. So we got these little, like, cannons and everything, it looks like. So let me take a look. There's the end right there, but we need to get that ball. Where's that ball? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing we're going to need to put this ball into this little cannon, but there's a way to get it over there. Okay, so hold up. Hold the phone. I'm going to drop this here once this shoots off. There we go. Get out of here. Come on. Come back down. What's he doing? There we go. Yeah, baby. We're going to drop that in there. And I believe that will shoot this over there. Like that. Yeet. There you go. Land that over there. And then put that one right there. Yeah, see, it shot it right over there. But what does that switch do? That's the real question. And it's going to turn it that way. But we don't like that. We don't like that at all. See, now the ball is done again. We're going to want to get this ball to go this way, right? Yeah, we're going to want to do that. So now when it lands over there, it will shoot that way. And where's that hole? The hole's right there. So now all we have to do is destroy the blocks, which is pretty simple. I'm just going to drop the bomb. Or not the bomb. <laughs> drop the ball there and pull out our bombs and just yeet it. And blow, <laughs> blow those boxes up and blow ourselves up with it. <laughs> Now it's pretty straightforward. We just drop the ball into the cannon, like launching little thing, and it'll do the work for us, I believe. So we say, no! <laughs> Very straightforward, jeans, right? <laughs> drop it in there. Let's get it. Ready? Yeet! <laughs> Shoots it over to that one. Please tell me it makes it. Yeets it on over there. And then yeets it on over there. Yeet! And then lands inside the hole and unlocks the door for us. Perfect. Perfect. Get that. Alright, guys. Now that we are finishing up with this shrine, we can actually grab the spirit orb. And we're going to start heading to the Lost Woods where we end off in the last episode. So, I'll see you guys there. Making our way back to where we left off in the last episode. We are actually making it to the Lost Woods right here. Woo! So, the Lost Woods is a little puzzle. It's in, like, every single Zelda game. But if you go off path, you go back to the beginning, which is just crazy. So, if you look here, you got this, like, torch over here. So, wait, I'll show you guys. Like, say we go off path over here. So, we come over here. The screen's just gonna turn white, and bang, dude. Get a little laughs and everything. And they send us all the way back to the beginning. Like, that's ridiculous. Like, what's this dude's problem? Look at this. Back here once again. So, if you go off path, you'll have to restart everything. But if you look to the right, you actually got these torches right here. Like, these are all lit up. And so, we're just gonna go follow it and everything. Because we can actually see the path right here. So it's pretty straightforward right now. Look at this. I mean, we got this little fox chilling here. I'll let him live. He's just chilling in the Lost Woods. But he, right now it's just straightforward. You just follow all the torches and it's pretty pretty easy. But dude, I cannot wait to finish up. I cannot wait to finish this. But if you actually look this way, you don't see any torches, which is weird. Unless you angle it this way, you can actually see one out in the distance. So we're going to head that way. But what's it called? Like... This is what we need 13 hearts for, is at the end of this. And we're going to get it, and it is probably the greatest thing in the game. I cannot wait. So when you actually hit this little section right here, there's no more, like, torches above here. So you're like, what the heck am I supposed to do? But they actually leave you with torches just chilling here. So I actually have one in my inventory, so we're going to grab this one out. We're going to equip it. And as you can see, these little, the little ashes or, like, embers, like, they float a certain way. So if you grab it and follow the way that it's pointing... That's the way you want to go. So you want to take a couple steps and then see where your torch is doing it as. So it's going that way. We're going to keep heading this way. And look at it, at it again. We're going to keep going this way. It's pretty straightforward. Once you figure it out, 
It's like a tough puzzle to figure out at first, but once you figure it out, you're like, oh, okay. That's pretty cool. So which way now? Look, see how it changes? Now it's going forward. Now it wants us to go forward. Now we just keep walking forward. Because once you go off the path, you're done. You're hammered. Game over. <laughs> and look this way. It's still going forward. We're just going to keep making our way towards this deer right here. Now we're going to take another look. Which way is it going? Forward still. Onward, people! <laughs> There's actually a bunch of chests in here, too. In, like, the trees and stuff. So, like, if you just want to, like, explore around and find some chests. Look, it's actually turning. We have to go, have to go this way now. Dude, this is such a cool puzzle. Like, when I first did this, I was like, How do you get through this maze? It was annoying me. We actually have a shrine nearby. I believe there's a shrine at the end of this. But this leads to, like, the coolest city ever. I believe it just leads us down this way. And the ending should be over here. So it's pretty straightforward once you know what you're doing. But, like, if you don't know what you're doing, you're like, dude, what am I? Like, it's very confusing. But look at this. We have finished it. We have finished the Lost Woods puzzle. Because I already know how to do it. I think we can put our torch away now. But it's going to lead us to the coolest place ever. Ever. <laughs> I'm just going to put my torch away. Get running. And look. The musk goes away and all that. All the fog lifts. And look where we end up. Look at all the Koroks. Look at everybody. We make it over here. To the Korok Forest. Yes. <laughs> For some reason, it's always a little like frame drop here. I guess there's just so much stuff here. But as you can tell, it's a little frame droppy over here. But look at all the Koroks. It's so crazy. But there should be a shrine just chilling nearby. So I want to do the shrine first. Where's the shrine? But if you look in the Korok Forest, the Master Sword is here. Yes! The Master Sword is right here. We can obtain it, actually. But let's do it. Psych. Actually, we have to do it. <laughs> Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That ring Link recalls a memory here after he touches the Master Sword. Hmm. Who is that? And the great Deku tree starts to talk. Hmm. Well, well. It's you. You finally decided to return. Better late than never. After 100 years, I'd nearly given up hope on seeing you again. Even my patience <laughs> has limits. <laughs> look at all the Koroks. That look on your face tells me that you have no recollection of me, however. I have watched over Hyrule since time immemorial. Many have referred to me over the ages as the Deku Tree. That is the weapon created by the ancient goddess. Look at that. The sword that seals the darkness that only Best the weapon. chosen Amazing. can wield against the Calamity Ganon. Believe it or not, <laughs> Did the it's crack me actually up. you who wielded that sword 100 years ago but I must warn you to take extreme caution the sword stands as a test to anyone who would dare attempt to possess it as you are now I cannot say whether you are worthy or not if you sought to free the sword in any sort of human <laughs> state, you would surely lose your life where you stand. <laughs> Best of luck, young one. Our boys, <laughs> yo, I love the Koroks. <laughs> Look at that, dude. The Master Sword is awesome. It is the best weapon in the game. Hands down, the best weapon. But what he said is you do not want to try to take it when you're in a weakened state. That's why I said we need 13 hearts in order to pull this off. So we need... Well, there's a bunch of silent princesses around here. We're actually going to need these for a tunic. So we cannot pull this until we get one more heart. There should be 
just a shrine chilling over here. There's Hestu, and Hestu actually just chills over here now. This is his little place. But there should be a shrine. Yes, sir, it is right over here. So now we can always fast travel to this place and where Hestu is whenever we want to upgrade our weapons after we defeat the shrine. So let's do this one. This one's called Faithful Stars. We're going to actually start it off here, but it's just like, what the heck do you do here? We're going to actually read this little thing right here. It says, look at the stars for guidance. The constellations are key. So if you look up here, you're like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> so guys, this shrine is actually very, very, very confusing. It is actually like one of the most confusing shrines. You actually have to look at these like constellations right here on the walls on each side. And they tell you where to place the balls. So it's, it's very confusing, but this one, if you read it, it actually tells you to place the ball all the way over here in this right corner. It's just such a confusing shrine. Like, this took me so long to find out the first time. Luckily, I, I kind of remember the pattern of what to do. And this one should go right here, I believe. Now, if you take out... I mean, if you come over to the other side, then you have to read the patterns once again. But I believe it's right... Hmm. It's right here? And I believe the other one is just diagonal of it, which is should be right over here. So hopefully this is it. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, baby. Land in there. Because once you finish this up, it should open the door. There we go. The door has opened and we can finish up this shrine. This is awesome. I don't think there's a praying station here. That's the one problem, I think. There's no praying station here. So we're going to have to head back to like Kakariko Village or something. And then obtain our heart and then fly back here or fast travel. Guys, I just found out the coolest thing. I never knew this before, but right near the Master Sword right here. I know it's a little frame droppy. I don't know, for some reason in this here, in this area it happens. But if you walk up here, there's a store and a praying station. I 100% in this game before and never seen this. Never seen this. Like, this is awesome. They got a little, like, bedroom over here. They, they're selling arrows and all that. And they got all this stuff right here. I never knew this. That is crazy. But we can actually do our praying right here and grab ourselves our last heart we need. Imagine if I would have clicked stamina best. Like, no! <laughs> like, that would have been terrible. But yeah, I never knew the shop was here. And it is like the most coolest looking shop. You got all these little Koroks, like, being store clerks and everything. <laughs> it is too funny. But there we go. We grab ourselves our 13th heart, which is awesome. Now it's perfect. Dude, that's awesome. We can actually glide down here. And we can pull the Master Sword. The reason I said we needed 13 hearts, because if you pull it without 13 hearts, you, you die. Like, you're not strong enough to pull it, which is crazy. So let's get pulling it. Get it, Link. So we just hold down A. Look at it, just draining our hearts. Come on, Link. Pull that sucker. Yes. Let's go, boy. Give me this. Give me that. Come on. Yes. Let's go. We did it, guys. We did it. This is the best cutscene ever. <laughs> Legit, this is the best sword in the whole game. It's a permanent sword. It is the best sword in the game. That a boy! That a boy! Thing. <laughs> we got this little cutscene flashback going on. Your master will come for you. Until then, you shall rest safely here. Although the slumber of restoration will most certainly deprive him of his memories, please trust me when I say that I know he will arrive before you yet again. If I may be so bold, what is it that you are planning to do next, princess? Master Sword, I heard it speak to me. It seems that my role is unfinished. There is still something I must do. I sense there is great strength in your dedication. Great Deku Tree, I ask of you, when he returns, can you please relay this message? Tell him I... Now then. Words intended for him would sound much better in the tones of your voice, don't you think? Yes.
look at that, everybody. So the story is starting to get more and more built together. Zelda's plan actually worked to hide the Master Sword away, knowing Link would come and get it, and then eventually saving Hyrule. Look at this. Yee boy! Let's get it! Let's get it! So hype. What you just saw happened where you stand 100 years ago. After you were separated from the sword, the princess thought to bring it here, where she knew that it would be safe under my watch. She continues to fight, trapped deep within the confines of Hyrule Castle. Her heart cascades with faith that you will return. She has a smile like the sun. I would do much to feel its warmth upon me once again. There we go, we obtained the Master Sword, which is a 30 damage one-handed weapon. It is the legendary sword that seals the darkness, its blade gleams with a sacred luster that can oppose the calamity. Only a hero chosen by the sword itself may wield it. The best sword in the game, the Master Sword right here. It is actually a permanent weapon, but it has something a little small tweaks with it. So, the thing about it is, it will never break, it will only go on cooldown. So once you use it enough, we'll actually pull it out right now. Here it is right here. Look how beautiful it is. Look at it, just chilling. But once you use it enough, it will actually go down on cooldown. Let's see if it says it in our inventory. No, it does not say anything, but it will not break. It'll go on cooldown for about like 10 minutes and then you can bring it out again. But the greatest thing about it is when you're using it around guardians or anything, it starts to glow and everything. So when it starts to glow, it actually doubles damage. So it's a 61 handed weapon at times. And you can actually, with full health, if you have full hearts, you can throw beams of light with it by just holding down the right bumper. It's ye, baby. The best sword in the game. But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new, you're subscribed to the channel. So in the next episode, we're actually going to be moving all the way over here where we are going to be starting our third Divine Beast quest. So hope to see you guys there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.